Yeah, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up. Yeah, man, a long time we know. Well, a few days now we in a chat. Mm-hmm. So, you know, so I check in with the item. Check in, pon the check in. Well, go on, good girl. Mm, so we're sailing the ship in. Big up Marge. Yeah, man, miss you too. We're sailing the ship in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, oh, my pin gone. First of all, I said, big up all of the people that might try to reach out to me. Yeah. We're up on the road, Zane. We're up on the road, so. You know, when I really talk a lot, on show days, because when I really want to host up the vocals. And then, what? We're there. All right? We're there. Upon the day after. Zane? You know we we'll give thanks to the reach out. All right. Obviously, we have more things to worry about. Than, <laughs> than cartel liar and cartel but just staying true to me my um, personality and me um, staying true to who me is I just want to I just want to about it quickly easy dirty just staying true to my personality I just want to about cartel liar um, quickly, you know, break the ice a little bit. No, ask a question. One of the cartel they act back for a refund for any liar. That's the truth. All of the guards are fans then. You know, long, me I tell you, say, man, no, no sense. <laughs> you know, see, how long, me I tell you, say, man, no, no sense, people. I don't know if I need glasses to say that I'm on the nana sense, you know. Carter should I get a refund? Trust me. The man has zero cents. Zero cents in my view. He has no sense in my view, people. Now tell me this now. And then, big up yourself, mash up. And my Austria was a good vibe. Um, Belgium and Germany and England next. Tell me the truth now. If cartel appeal uh, coming up, right? If cartel appeal coming up, explain to me, right? Why the liar can dig up a whole song where cartel, quote unquote, at this, the DPP. That's how you expect, say, when a cartel enemy them for doing you know? You are expect, you are expect that France are you know? You are expect, what well, the liar do? You are expecting that from Serpy. The man appeal like, you know? 
ודין עם זה, ה-2024. Save the man of our appeal account 2024. Please explain to me what good can come of where him reveal, how we him bring up back, how we him put back out in the media, how we him make gone viral. Because obviously, the man assassinated Cartel's character. I am not wrong still. I am wrong. I am wrong. You know what you know, you know I think find strange? The people them where I say Bob's a Grange. I find it strange that the people where I say the same thing if you say about Babsy Grange too. Like them are born up Babsy Grange, I say. Babsy Grange should not call for the man resignation. Yo, you yeah, talk about ethics, Bridgen. The man's supposed to be a lawyer. The man yeah, we deal with ethics here, so Bridgen. DW Dutty comes to buy appeal, come around, everyone forget. No, I don't think so. I think that I think that that not re, that not that not that not look good for Cartel's character. I don't think I don't think they're gonna forget that. But even if even so, why would you even bring it up? Even, even if that's the case, you're supposed to be painting your client as a person who has been rehabilitated and a person who has served so much time in prison a person who has changed a person who is willing to come back and contribute to society and you're supposed to even if you're saying he's innocent you're supposed to be showing that this man he has gone to prison for all these years and he has done this in prison and he has mentored other prisoners and you know just come up with some things and he has you know he has you know motivated other prisoners and you know, he has you know, cartel lawyer should have write some letters and I pretend I get permission from cartel to write some letter, like when Ninja Man I do. Right? Obviously, Ninja Man uh, 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 act more smart in this, act smart in this, in this, um, you know. The man should have out there paint a light, you know, a paint an image of cartel like this man has been taken away from his family and. You know, he's a great, you know, member of society, you know. But you can't dig up that far. Why you? Why would you go and dig up that? Because you're the political platform and want to look like you're a gangster. This, this, this man, you want to be a thug. This man, you want to be a... This man, you want to be so famous that him go to... I don't me me know a great thing. It's like, it's like him get starstruck. You can't be starstruck when you're a liar, Bridgen. You're handling one of the biggest dancehall artists in other area. Kiss. And you're and you're treating it this way? What if somebody pay him for sabotage cartel kiss? I feel wonder that. I feel wonder if the man anti cartel. And you know, I not mean that they have vouch for cartel, I mean they have a fight for cartel, I mean they me, me neutral on this, you understand? Me does I speak objectively, I think say, that goes beyond ethics, Virgin. Yes, what I say? When a man is going to dig up his client's record and hold his client this, the Director of Public Prosecution. Me <laughs> thinks that the stupidest thing never see from a band. Me thinks that 
and the people them we are, we are, we are cheer it on. And I say, and I say, yeah man, she forgot suck a dick for you. She forgot this for you. She forgot that for you. You know, so we're not no real cartel fans. We're not no real cartel fans. <laughs> I swear to God, so we don't really check for cartel. We don't like cartel. We don't like cartel. I don't just know no sense. We don't could have never like cartel. And think that this actually is a good thing. This is a this is character assassination. A character assassination, is you know. Your client appealed to their highest to a higher court. In, in England, maybe the highest court, right? And you're gonna assassinate your client's character? Why? For what reason? You no cite one cartel song. The better this, better the better the post one one cartel song was they don't have sex in the school bus. At least them not saying teaching children, you know, to be abs you know, to, to <laughs> abstain from sex and is in there. You should have you should have you should have you should have quote the lyrics there. Don't fucking at the school bus. That you should have quote, you know. Look how much cartel sang there for your court. You're you're the liar, you can't quote a cartel song where I sing about badness, where I sing about gun, where I be misogynistic, where I degrade. You can't do that. We I do. And look at your fool. <laughs> you see how long me after this, you idiot? You see how long me after this, you idiot? Look what you do now. You get, you get yourself in a problem with the PMP party. Do you think that the PMP could have keep you on? After you do this? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Yo, sir, like, you know, like me not laugh, Bridget. You know, like me not laugh. <laughs> you know, like me not laugh. You think that the PMP would I really keep your hand? You think that you think the PMP are going to really keep your hand? And would I keep you on after you go back, go dig up? After you go, hear me, you want me to repeat it? You want me to repeat it? You want me to say it again? Eh? You want me to say it again? What? What the fuck you do sit on Why do you sit on us to the cartel lyrics? You should have write some letter and I get permission from your client to put them out as motivational pieces. That's what you should be doing. You should have make cartel and run a charity from prison. You should have make cartel. You should have, you should have, you should have set up all of that, you know. If I were a lawyer representing Vibes Cartel, may I create a center for youths who leave prison, for um, get some form of skills, some form of, learn some form of trade, all of them look at something there. You know, so maybe in that day I wrote already. You're fool like a duck in my view. Trust me, you're fool like a duck. Fire here, fire here, fire here, Bob's a green jaffa. You know, so Bob's a green jaffa. You know, so first, is the first since me I watch politics. It's the first since me watching Bob the Grange, right? Because my mother did love a woman name. Uh, what's her name? Gally Moore, I sit like so, and Bob the Grange. I don't know why my, my mother did just love them. I don't know why. Right? I never hear Bob the Grange ask somebody if he stepped down from a post, you know? Brother. If you make Bob's the Grange, Bob's the Grange, they all bought and hang out with everybody. And 
vibe with everybody and dance with everybody. <laughs> right? You make Bob the, Bob the Grange, the right honorable Bob the Grange, you make that if you step down. <laughs> you know, like, cartel, you need a refund, my general. You need a refund, my general. You have to fire him. You have to go fire him, dog. The Africa put out a statement quick and fast say he no longer represents you. May I tell you? The mm. Africa put out a disclaimer. Mm. And you need to put out a statement where say, yo, obviously those are views you shared um, earlier on in your career, but you have matured and you have grown and you have nothing but respect for the you know, director of public prosecution. Paul and Llewellyn, you have to... You know, sometimes you have, to, you have to do some things when you want to do, you know. Yeah, man. You have to do some time, some things. You see, when you're handing a lion, what, brother? You take, take time to dry what, brother? The whole of we can learn from that, you know. When you're handing a lion, what, take time and dry it out, brother? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you have to understand that there's an interconnectedness with the system. There's an interconnectedness with the, with the system, the justice system in Jamaica and the justice system, you know, the justice system actually run by the British. That's why they used to bow down to the Queen in a court before a court start. You never know that. They must give reverence to the Queen when she was alive before a court start, you know. There is an interconnectedness where we can't go around. It's one system. If you understand that, you know, that is the reason why Cartel can be able to appeal his case. You understand? <laughs> to really, to really, such a good, glad to see me a smile. All right, on that note, you know, now talking about, you know, glad to see me smile. You know, sir, so, yeah, I feel some form of um, what do I call it now? Freedom. Remember, some tell us, when some people meant to be bad for you, it turns out to be good. And maybe you will not see the good, you know? maybe you will not reap the good, you know. Maybe the good will come, come to other people, you know. And that may feel some form of freedom. You understand? Yeah. I think some form of freedom. You know, I advise any youth where any youth that was, you know, preyed on by this this predator, um, just link me forward. Um, you know, if you need some counselling, yeah, me, me will deal with it. You know, that's totally confidential. Um, you know, I may understand still because you have to understand, say, more victims go to dead, you know, but enough of them would have moved on with them life and have maybe relationships now, children and relationships and them no want this come out now and destroy them family and destroy them home. But me know it can be, you know, something will trigger um, what happened to these kids, you know, you know, if there are more victims. Because so far I know about three, you know, I know about three victims, right? And if there are three victims, you know, obviously we are dealing with a serial predator. We're dealing with a serial predator, and I think I've already done my part. I kind of feel, I kind of feel like, you know, some relief that it out there and people can see him face and hear him voice and hear what I say and realize, say, yo, even if you don't believe, say, in trouble you with them, just know that based on what he must say and what he admit to. You know, say that dangerous predator we have on our hand. The frightening thing is, this predator is not in his prime yet. And that's the frightening thing, you know. So that's why me feel like, yo, me feel some freedom for say, yo, may at least make the people know of him before him reaching prime. Because remember, say them, the predators, them, you know, them get to them prime, you know. In the then late 30s, 40s, 50s, at this of them get dangerous, you know. So we're talking about a seasoned predator. You understand what I mean? I say, already, we're going to get more dangerous, in my view. 
Because if you know how to exploit or, or extort, you know, younger children than yourself at 12 years old, you know you you know that craft and you can actually blackmail them and get other children to prey on them. That is a dangerous, dangerous predator we have for my hand. You understand me I say? And I strongly feel, and this is just my view based on based on what I, you know, heard from from one of the victims, you know, and my son, so not only one of it is my son as well, that uh, they were being preyed on through his mother's phone. You see me I say, I mother phone him up a prey upon them, you know, extort them. So my concern is, is was the mother behind it and how dangerous the mother is. And if she was the one who really, really had him, you know, taking money off of them youth yeah, for her own financial gain. That is something we're really, really concerned about. I understand? And something when we think that the law needs to look into, there should be some investigation done. And, you know, when we come off a tour, I definitely go get pantapite, I go get pantapite, I go down there, and I go report them. I go report them because it wrong. And him admit, say he extorted the kids. Him I'm admit that at least we know say my him is an extortionist. At least we know that. You see? What is frightening that also? What is frightening also? And the people that might try to defend him, may not expect better from him because you have the lower tier and you have the you know, you have the middle and you have the top tier. When it comes down to um people where you know if you use them senses. You see? And this not this is not the time for you to talk about Vegas. This is not the time for you to talk about Vegas, you know. This is not the time for you to talk about Vegas and, and my son. This is not the time for that in my view. Me think say there's a bigger problem on, at hand right here now. Me, me think say we have somebody when where's a predator. We not reach him prime yet. You see? So him not reach him prime predatorial self yet. So, so me think say that's a bigger problem for no worry about because we don't know if I come live next door to Uno. Right? Or next door to your family. So just like I land on my doorstep, you're not immune from that. But what I find shocking, not the fact that his story changed. He did, he did two interviews, and I want him to continue to talk and him stop talk. So maybe if me talk, him will talk. So hopefully him talk after me talk now. What I found shocking, you know, not that him want to change his story in such quick time. So I know, say, him cannot stand up to any form of um, investigation or interrogation. I know him can't stand up to scrutiny. That already, you understand? As I said, I have information stored where him tell me off the camera. You see? What is shocking is outside of him changing his story. Like, first, the first interview he did, him said, uh, him and him friend them catch the youth them in a bush. <coughs> him changed him story after him did, uh, um, him did a, um, another interview on a, on a youth named Popeye's channel. You need to go check out that interview if you haven't checked it out on Popeye's channel on YouTube. And in the interview, he changed his story. But listen, what's shocking about the story, what the story turned to. He actually profiled my little boy. And that is a shocking thing, you know. We're dealing with a dangerous predator, you know. Go listen to that interview, you know. Because it's going to be very useful to this investigation, right? He actually said, there's two roads. Two roads that lead to my son's um, grand grandparents' house. And what he said was, he watched my little boy, a seven-year-old, he watched him go up the track all the time. Yeah? Him said, watch him go up the track all the time. Now, how you think this happened now? My youth grandfather by my goat. And him I said, Daddy, 
מגיע תגועות, אין הוא. אני לא עובד גועות. זה עם גועות תאיות עם גועות. זה עם מועט שאם אה לתאיות עם גועות תאיות עם גועות. היו עם זה? אם זה עם מועט שאם אה לתאיות עם גועות בצ'וואק. It changed from him catching them down in the bush. Him now say, him, watch my son go up the track and one day him follow him upon one of the road and when nobody no walk. Listen, you know. Him follow him upon one of the road and when nobody no walk. And when him go up there, him see my son in a bush with a next little boy. So it changed from him go catch them. He said catch them, him see them in a, some grip, grip, grip walk, whatever. Right? Ask yourself this question. What can a seven year old walk go up a track when nobody no walk with him friend and go in a bush at seven year old go mess around and when a 12 year old come catch them, him them say, oh, we will pay you enough to talk. We will pay you enough to talk. What, 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 what you, you, you think a 12 year old and a seven year old come into that form of settings and a seven year old, right? I don't want to say, me will pay you. All right. If you believe that, leave your children around him. If you believe that, leave your children around him. You understand me, I say? Just, just ask yourself that question. Ask yourself, you have children, right? If you have children, look at your seven-year-old and look how young or look how... That, that's still a baby. That's still a baby when you hold your lap, you know? That's still a baby when you lift up when you sleep, you know? That's still a baby when you're sick, you know? You have to dead, you have to take care of him, vomit up, rare, 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 all of them things. You have, to, you have to nurse the baby back to health. It's a baby. You have to get up and make them look how my look at them if they have constipation, if they have whatever, if they have fever. And they're still... Babies, they're still having fever and them something. Them still get sick. You understand me? I said, they're not even developed properly yet. You see? So ask yourself a question. A 12-year-old tell you, say, him watch that 7-year-old all the time go up the track and one day the 7-year-old never take the track where everybody walk and him followed him up the track. Now, what was the reason for him to follow him? What did he suspect for him to follow him go up the track? Hmm? Why did he suspect? Why did he decide that this day I'm going to just follow him go up the track? Yeah? And it match up with the story where the little boy tell. The little boy tell. The little boy say, him rolling down in the bush. I rape him. So we are dealing with a serial from, from an early age. And chances are he himself was molested. Hence the reason when we meet up with him and him say, I'm 21, miss the father instinct kicked in. So I say, what if I look at you here? A victim too. And him victimized my youth. Because, come on. I've not done some fool fool on it, you know. But when him tell me he's 21, I just find it like, odd, like 21, married, have children, look so old, it never match up. That's why I tell him to call him mother for, for very five age. And then if I realize he's 23. So he was four years older than my child. Now four years is a lot when it comes down to a dealing a seven-year-old to an 11 or a 12-year-old. 